Hi, my name is Catherine, and today's tune by ear is Happy Birthday. There are four elements in this tune I want to focus on today. Number one, it's in 3-4 time. Number two, it has pickup notes. Number three, there's something in there called a fermata. And number four, it's in the key of G major. I'm going to play the tune now, and then afterwards we can talk a little bit about these elements. I'll count to two and then start playing on B3. One, two. So there's happy birthday. It's in 3-4 time. What does that mean? It means that as I play along, I'm going to be thinking 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So rhythmically, we can divide the entire tune into groups of three. And I'll say it now, I'll say the words to the tune, and I'll show you with my fingers counting how the words line up with the numbers, the beat numbers, so one, two, three. So I'll give one, two, and then come in with my happy. One, two, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, and so forth. So what you might notice is that birth from birthday happens on beat one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And you might have also noticed that the word you ends up on beat one. So then we can talk about our pickup notes. Did you notice that the tune doesn't actually start on beat one? So that's what a pickup is all about. It's notes that happen right before we get to beat one. So it sort of leads in or picks up into a phrase. So I'll give two beats and I'll do it one more time. One, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So of course the words happy are our pickup notes in this tune. Then let's talk about the fermata. So a fermata, I have actually heard it called a pig's eye, but I haven't heard that too often. But when you see a fermata written on the page, it kind of looks like an eye. It's got a dome shape with a dot in the middle, and that's lined up right over the note where we want to pause. So that's what a fermata is. It's a pause. So do you know where the pause happens in Happy Birthday? Happy birthday, dear Ronald, for example. So it's over the person's name, whoever is having the birthday celebration. So I'll play a little bit of that now. I'll play that part of the tune and show you where the fermata happens. One, two. There's our pause. And then. And then we keep going. So finally, it's in the key of G major. And so why is that important to know? Well, it informs us orally and then in terms of what we're doing on the fingerboard. So in terms of how it sounds, of course, we, hear, we expect to hear a certain sound if it's in G major. And most importantly, a good thing to remember is that nine times out of 10, or maybe even more often than that, we'll end up coming right back to G. And that's what will make the tune sound like it's complete. So here's the end. see I end up on G on the D string. So that that uh, explains the sound part and then in terms of the fingering it kind of narrows things down for us. It gives us a range of notes to use. So I know that um, I'm starting on my open D for this tune and that my highest note is this D up here on the A string. So it's one octave above. I know that from playing it a little bit. But then the question is always, do we use second or third finger? 
we always use first and we always use fourth and we were going to use the open strings. But how do we determine whether we use second or third? Well, it just depends on if we need that F on the D string and the C on the A string, if we need them to be sharp. So with third finger, F sharp and C sharp. And it just so happens that in G major, one of the notes is sharp and that's F sharp. So it means that we can already determine that when we play on the D string, we're going to use open D, first finger, third finger, and fourth. But on the A string, we'll use open one, two, and four. So that's a lot of clues to help you play Happy Birthday. I hope you take in this information because it can really strengthen your understanding and help you to learn it faster. Feel free to go back and listen to the instructions again, but now I'm going to play Happy Birthday at a slow tempo so that you can have a listen, or if you want to, you can play along with me. So starting on our open D strings on beat three, I'll give us two beats and then we'll come in. One and two and. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to our next tune together.